Yeah, we, we've got wind shear here. That's a funnel, is that, are we getting a funnel out of that? Holy. The date is August 13th, 2023, and the SPC has placed an enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms across Kansas and Missouri. And due to added wind shear, thanks to a trough moving out of Nebraska, a risk for a few tornadoes is also noted in the area. Early rounds of thunderstorms have drenched the Kansas City area, causing flooding in some spots and frequent lightning. After these passed, I went out to check for flooded areas and visit areas struck by lightning. Actually out here on the tour to see, survey some of the flood remnants and also there were some really close CG lightning strikes. So looking for some of those have been to one spot where one hit didn't see anything super clear, but a little bit perhaps some scarring on the tree, so we're going to continue the search here. Thinking that this was all that would happen, I return home shortly. The early storms have left a large pool of cool, stable air over much of the risk area, which is limiting storm potential. But destabilization is occurring in eastern Kansas. Ahead of a cold front, intense thunderstorms are initiating, one of which is moving into heavily populated Kansas City. It's time to get into spotter mode and go to work. Here, there is a thunderstorm. It's sort of rotating, um, but it's mainly outflow dominant. It's actually picking up some probably severe level winds now. But definitely strengthening up in here, intimidating all across the board up to the north. Definite lowering here. I'm not sure if that's scud or if that's a wall cloud or funnel or any of the above, but we're gonna keep tabs on that. I get to a location with a northwest view of the storm, which is now showing possible rotation on radar and strengthening. This thing's sort of a somewhat supercell here and reminds me a lot of July the 10th of a couple years ago. But we're looking at a wall cloud here. I'm pretty sure that does have some sort of rotation motion in there. So that is interesting. And this kind of shelf look, that's 100% a wall cloud right there. The bowl lowering to my northwest is rotating, but there is no clear sign of an imminent tornado yet. It is a wall cloud, but likely can't produce at this point due to the storm's outflow dominant nature. Oh yeah, look at the, mo look at the motion. Yeah, we, we've got wind shear here. Uh, part of that's going one way, the other's going another way. So there's some sort of rotation right in that cloud there, where it looks like an area of convergence. Yeah, some sort of convergence is going on here. It looks like sort of an inflow. It looks like sort of some sort of inflow right on this end, and then also kind of maybe rear flank coming in on this end. I'm uh, getting a little nervous because these power lines are gonna head out. That's a funnel, is that, are we getting a funnel out of that? Oh my gosh. I hope not. Damn lightning. Yeah, this is one of the most. Yeah, this is this that that is uh, rotating for sure. Though startling, the cloud is likely scud, and even if it is a funnel, it gets slung shot around the rotating mass and does nothing. But this storm is sneaky, and more on that later. Probably, probably severe thunderstorm now, slight risk event. Definitely wind shear going on right in that area. Oh no, big lightning. All right, let's pack it up. Here's a time lapse to better show the rotation. Let's watch that again. So here's our storm on radar. It's not severe warned yet, but it could definitely get there. And that's what we're looking at.
After arriving home, strong outflow winds ensue as the storm's downdraft approaches. Big time downdraft there. Wow, what a downdraft. With enough force, the winds quickly become damaging. A tree fall? Yikes. Huh. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely severe. Wow. Holy... Please don't let us lose power. I have the garage open. This is a supercell going over, that's why. Look, and the bike. There it goes. Shucks. Look, I think that could possibly be what that is there. And it's severe thunderstorm. Went severe. We might have just had the RFD of the cell go over. I was looking at that, so. Close lightning strikes on occasion. One of which scares me. Just a little. In the wake of the storm, pockets of wind damage can be found across northern Kansas City. I make sure to notify the National Weather Service of any that I can find. Big time tree limb down there. There's another storm. <clears throat> There's the backside of a thunderstorm that's south of here. The storm that hit us is back there behind that house. Right there. What an adventure of storm spotting. But let's address the elephant in the room. What was that rotating cloud earlier? Well, we know for sure that we're dealing with a rotating wall cloud. Let's take a deeper look. Early on, it appears that the base of the wall cloud could actually be a broad funnel. As it progresses, the rotation in the wall cloud appears to be overcome by the storm's outflow dominant nature. There are two sources of outflowing air in this storm, the forward flank downdraft behind the wall cloud and to the right, and the rear flank downdraft to the left. A surge of gusting winds appears to blast to the left side of the rotation before it could be well established. So then, was this actually a tornado? Well, before we answer this, let's address that not all tornadoes appear to touch the ground. Funnel clouds appear when pressures become low enough to cause the air in the funnel to get into clouds. My storm chaser friend Ethan, who has chased a number of historic tornadoes, thinks that this was a brief, weak tornado in fact. But overall, I honestly don't think it was a tornado, but it is possible. Reason being, if a tornado is weak enough, it will not condense fully, even though the winds may be reaching the ground and kicking up dust and debris. So if this was indeed a tornado, it would have been not fully condensed at the time, nor would it have been able to kick up dust due to saturated soil from previous thunderstorms. And thankfully it would have been weak, not causing any major damage. Times like this reveal why storm spotters are so important, as there was not any tornado warning issued for this storm. So if there was in fact a tornado, it would have been completely unwarned, but thankfully not hitting anything. Let me know what you think. Was this a tornado or just a wall cloud? Thank you for watching. If you want to see my adventure taking on a severe thunderstorm with over 80 miles per hour winds, click here. And if you want to see what a storm twice the height of Mount Everest looks like, click here. Thank you and have a good day.